his interest in history and what these songs were about. The spirituals were all early forms of texting. <laughs> the slaves had to find a way to communicate with each other, and they secretly found this way by having secret messages in these songs. Bob loved that. And so this little band of saints and sinners welcomed Bob, and Bob would play his drum, which we have on stage today, and the person that sat next to him will beat Bob's drum during the four songs that we'll sing. Sometimes Bob would find the right note What you can do with the spirituals. This first song is In Bright Mansions. The slaves would dream, knowing that they were not welcomed in the big house, but after death, they would be able to be in bright mansions above. The soloist joining me in that song will be Heather Wren.
next piece, of course, was another one of Bob's favorite. Of course, it celebrates an insurrection. <laughs> Did you hear that? <laughs> of course, it would be one of his favorite. And now the daughter of the last soloist, Christina Montoya, will join us to celebrate the 1831 insurrection of Nat Turner, Rockin' Jerusalem.
was a farewell song that the slaves sang when they knew they were going to be sold. And it is called simply, Fair You.